everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you're all well if you're new here I'm Jo I do craft videos as well as Poundland hauls and charity shop finds and any other bits that I pick up off the internet so today's video is a little bit of a surprise it wasn't planned whatsoever what happened was I'm in the middle of making some paper mache birds which was supposed to be today's video and I'll just show you where we're up to give you a little sneak peek so these are the paper mache birds that I've made I've just used paper mache and tin foil and to make the shape of the birds and I'd convinced myself that I had some blue feathers somewhere I don't know where I thought I had to blue feathers from but when I went through my craft stash I actually have some pink ones and I didn't want to put pink with that blue because I thought it'd be a little bit too bright so I've had to come up with a different plan and I'm going to use some silver glitter so I needed to go out and get some silver glitter from B&M's which is what I did I picked up some of the silver glitter this is £2.50 for a tub and it looks like one of the tubs had exploded in the box when it was shipped because it's completely covered in glitter so I managed to pick up the silver glitter that I wanted so I'm going to do something different with them than using feathers so that's what that's for and then I thought well, while I'm out before we got in lockdown I definitely need some glue from Poundland so I went to get all my glue that I could get and I was looking at some paint as well because I wanted to just make sure that I had everything that I needed for over the next four weeks where we can't go out anywhere so um I didn't manage to pick up any paint there wasn't any paint in B&M's I wanted white and black and I didn't couldn't find any in Poundland either but I did manage to get my glue but what happened while I was in there is they've taken all the Halloween stuff out so now they've got all the new Christmas stuff in and I ended up coming out with a bag full of stuff some new stuff that's not been seen so I thought well I might as well film this quickly before we go into lockdown I'll still be doing my craft videos and I'll do some other little videos as well but there won't be any haul videos so this is going to be my last one until December so yeah I thought I'd share what I picked up today loads of new cute little things from the Christmas section and yeah we'll get into it so I got my glitter from B&M's for £2.50 and then I wanted some basic stuff from Poundland so all I did was I picked up some paintbrushes because I know that I'll probably need some more and like I said I just wanted to make sure that I had everything in so I could continue filming over lockdown period I also picked up some of the A4 white card my last Poundland video which was the one just before this which I did on Thursday I also bought some more white card I thought I better pick some up just to make sure that I've got some and then glue wise I went in for glue sticks and PVA glue they haven't got any glue sticks at the moment in my pound land so I picked up two tubs of the sticky situation PVA glue I've got half a tub left which I've been using to do the birds and then I've got another one somewhere and I can't find it so yeah I'm gonna um I just wanted to make sure that I had enough in case I ended up doing some more paper mache and then I also picked up some of the YooHoo glue and oh oh I got the wrong one this is the really really small one it'll do I'll probably use it but I wanted the bigger one I didn't realize that this was a smaller version they normally have the they're normally about this big the ones that I get but I'll still use it anyway but never mind I needed more glue I've got I think I've got three packs of glue sticks so I'm hoping that's going to be enough um, as well as the PVA glue and the YooHoo glue so hopefully that will see me through the next four weeks and then I mentioned in my last Poundland haul that I showed you my favourite thing that I've ever bought from Poundland which was the giant baubles and I said that I was going to go back and see if they had any more and I did and I was lucky I managed to get the ones that I wanted so I saw this one which they didn't have last time so I picked up this one and yeah I just absolutely love this color you know me guys I just this is my my color so I grabbed this one and then the one that I wanted another one of was this one so I've got two of these now the only thing is this one is slightly dented but this was the only one they had and I definitely wanted two of these so you're not going to see it when I use it but 
I've got a different plan for these. So the other ones that I bought, the rounder ones, I'm going to use in a garland. And then these two, I'm going to do something else with them. I'm going to do a project. So I'm glad I managed to get the other one that I wanted. I had to dig right to the bottom of the box. And yeah, I managed to find it. So I'm a little bit disappointed that it's dinted. But I thought, you know what, get it because you're probably never going to be able to get these again. So yeah, I picked it up. And then everything else is Christmas related out of the Christmas section and they've got some really, really nice stuff in and especially in the white section, which is obviously the colour that I use quite a lot in my crafting and in my living room. So yeah, I'm super happy with what I managed to pick up. The first thing that I managed to pick up was a set of these tea light holders and these are frosted glass with little snowflakes on and I'll open them up and they are gold inside and it's kind of like mercury glass and yeah i'm hoping these will look really nicely up with some tea candles and these ones were a pound and i just thought they would go somewhere quite nice this has actually got a crack in it but you can't tell really but yeah really happy with these and i think they'll look beautiful lit up so i'm going to try them out tonight and see what they look like and then I'll put them away until we get closer to Christmas. But I just want to see what they look like at night. Then I picked up some of the garland ties. And these are a pack of 10. And I picked up two packs. I've got an idea for some Christmas lanterns that I want to make. And these are what I want to use. And so I want to do freestanding Christmas lanterns for one of my craft projects this year. And I knew that I wanted some of this to wrap around the stem of the lantern. So I think two packs, I was going to pick up four. I, need, I, I originally picked up four and I thought there's ten in each one. So I reckon ten will do each, each one. So that's two that I'm going to make. And if not, I'll just get some more a bit later on when we come out of lockdown. But yeah, I thought two would be enough. I didn't want to go over the top. So yeah, I just grabbed the two. And I think these will look really nice just wound, wound, wound around the base of the lantern. So yeah, I'm glad that I managed to pick up these two. We didn't have these last year in my pound land. I kept seeing everybody else get them and they didn't have them. And I'm really glad that they got them in. Again, what we didn't have last year in my pound land was the orange slices the cinnamon sticks and the few other bits that you can get that's craft related and um, so I'm hoping this year because they've got these that they'll have the other bits in that I couldn't get last year so fingers crossed I'm not going to find out now until December and yeah hopefully then in December when I go in they will have the other bits that I want and then I can do a couple of reefs so yeah super happy that I picked them up then i got these and i thought these were super cute you get three in a pack and these are three polar bears and they're to go with the little white birds that i got last a few months ago i think it was was it last i think it was last month they had some packs of four little white birds and i thought they were super cute so these are to go with them and i'm trying to get into the box which is not working oh they're adorable and they're just like this so i'm thinking i might do a miniature winter scene and i think these would look really cute so i was gonna do one last year and i was gonna use just one second i'll grab it i was gonna do one last year and use these ones that they had last year in poundland but they were a little bit too big and i actually think that these oh I actually think that these would look a lot better for what I have planned. So I'm hoping to use them in a craft coming up. The size difference is just completely different. But yeah, I absolutely love these. I got two of these last year and then I've just bought two packs of these. So I've got six little polar bears. I bought some silver ribbon and I got some of this last time. This is the three meters and this is in the gift section. And I'm hoping to use some of this on my birds. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to use some of this just to create the breast of the bird and i might put a little bit round the tail as well so i've got one of these but i wanted to pick up another one just in case i needed it 
um and yeah just to help finish off the little birds so i'm hoping that's going to be the birds will be on friday fingers crossed everything will be done for friday so yeah i um, need to have a play and decide what i'm going to do because originally my plan was to have blue blue feathers all up the tail make it quite bushy but um yeah i haven't got any i had a quick look on amazon and they're like six pound for a pack of feathers and then two pound three pound postage and i'm just not i'm not willing to pay that um i can get them from the works the works sell um not the works the range sell feathers but I don't know what the ordering is going to be like. I don't know if the works, if the range is going to be open. I don't know what shops are closing and what shops are staying open. So um, I think I'm just going to have to try and come up with something different. So yeah, this will be on Friday and you'll get to see what I ended up coming up with to finish them off. Then I got these. These are also Christmas decorations and I got two. These are a pound and these are just some little white swans with white feathers and the heads look a little bit, they look a little bit strange from the front but from the side they're not too bad. Um, I'll probably end up using these in some kind of display at some point but I just thought they were really sweet and they've got little sequins around the base of the feathers and yeah they're a really nice size and they're just real ideal for the center of a display and then <laughs> i went a little bit mad with these i'll show you these in a bit but i picked this up and, and you know what there's no batteries in it i'm gonna go and get some batteries so i can put some batteries in it so you can see what it looks like lit up it takes two a four four batteries and these are two pound and it just says let it snow and yeah i just thought this was really sweet i think it'll look lovely lit up and you know what i'm i'm really really happy with this and i just want to put it out but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait until december and yeah i'm just gonna pause the video now go and get some batteries and put some batteries in for you right guys so they don't take two AA batteries they take triple a batteries so two triple a batteries and this looks so pretty lit up you can't really tell it's there we go it's so pretty and yeah i'm really happy with it and i'm looking forward to finding a place for it over christmas but yeah really happy with how that turned out and yeah for two pound i think it's an absolute bargain i might decorate around the outside of it i might add some greenery i might even add some of this i'm not 100 percent sure yet but yeah i think this is really really sweet for two pound and a really good bargain so i picked that up then I'll save my two favourites till last, but I went a little bit mad. They've got like, um, it, you know, in the at summer when they do the um, fairy house stuff the in the garden section, they've got a winter version of it. So I did pick up a few bits. I grabbed three of the little lights and I'm going to be doing a craft with these, all of these that I bought. So these are the christmas world miniatures and i got three of the little lights and they're so sweet and yeah i thought three would be enough for what i want to do with them i did get the fairy house stuff um the miniature fairy garden stuff at summer and i still need to do something with them but i'm definitely going to be doing these coming up in the next couple of weeks so i got three of the little lights and i love the little reefs on them with the bows and yeah i'm hoping to like i said to make some of these these are what i'm going to be making um over christmas some larger ones hopefully probably about this big freestanding ones and that's what i want the garland for um these for so that's my plan for them then they also have some of these these are the candy lane the all signs and yeah they're super sweet for a pound they're adorable and as you can imagine i'm going to be doing like a miniature scene with these i also picked up one of the little christmas trees 
to go in the same piece that I'm going to be doing and yeah it's really sweet I might try and put some little lights around it just to make it a little bit more special but yeah I am looking forward to playing with these and then I also got a little snowman which has got a tiny little hat on it and or oh, is adorable and it's glittery and I'm already covered in glitter but never mind it's Christmas you end up with it everywhere and yeah so I got them two and then to finish off, I got one each of the houses. This one is Santa's workshop. And to go with it, I also got a gingerbread house. So I'm hoping to do a little street scene with all the little bits that I bought in this section, in this range. There was a few other bits that I didn't pick up. There was a small polar bear with a Christmas tree on its back. They had a little penguin. Um, and I think that was all they had. I think... I think I've pretty much bought everything else but yeah these are adorable and looking forward to doing a craft with them in the future and then I've got two things left this one was two pound and he is a little bird decoration you know me I absolutely love birds anything bird related I'm sold straight away they had this one which has got the little navy blue scarf and his little hat with the little navy blue detail underneath and his little buttons and they also had like a creamish color one as well um, but I preferred this one. I would have liked it if his scarf was a little bit lighter blue, but I'm really happy with this. And yeah, I think he's adorable. And for £2, he's definitely well worth the money. And he is quite large as well. So yeah, definitely worth £2. And then the last thing that I got, I've been seeing these on Facebook and I'm so glad we got them in my Poundland and yeah, I'm glad that I picked one up. I was going to actually have a go at making some and I think I might do at some point, but this was £3 and for £3 he was definitely worth picking up and it's one of the little gnomes. So yeah, I managed to get one of the gnomes. I didn't think we'd end up with them in my Poundland. Everything that I like that I see online, we never seem to get. But yeah, he's super sweet. He's got his little hands and his little nose poking out and then his hat. So for £3, I had to buy him and I, they didn't have any other colours. They just had this one colour. But yeah, I think I'm going to have a go at making these at some point. So if you can't get them in your pound land, I'll find a way of doing them quite cheaply and easily to do. So yeah, we'll have some fun with trying to work out how to make one of these. So that is everything that I bought, a lot of new stuff, a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, I will be, I think on Wednesday I'm going to do a video showing you my favourite things that I've ever bought from charity shops, auction houses and free things that I've picked up. I think I'm just going to do a top 10. I definitely have 10 things that I can show you. And then on Friday, I should be back with the birds. And then on Monday, it will be another craft video. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video that was a complete surprise. And I hope you've seen some things that you like. And then you know what to look out for when everything opens again in December. So I, like I said, I won't be doing any haul videos. I'm not going to be buying anything online or anywhere. I'm just going to be concentrating on my craft videos. So for the people who only watch my whole videos, I will see you back in December. And for everyone else, I will see you on Wednesday. So till then, have a good couple of days. Stay safe, everyone. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.